Today, I will be showing you how pros play and anchor the A site on Anubis CT side. I'm going to show you the best positions, plays, and utility that you need to know from the pros to shut down A. The main focus on this guide is going to be towards A main. If this video reaches 2000 likes, I'll cover the other Anubis CT positions. A rushes are pretty rare in the pro scene and they probably happen like maybe once or not even once a match but if you're close towards A main at the start you can hear the footsteps you can see the nades coming through you instantly want to throw your utility to counter this rush which we see X Flow do with the smoke and Molotov. Unless you have really good aim and your teammates are setting you up with a flash then it's not recommended that you just go ahead and dry peek like this how Bit is doing. Bit is an exception because he is one of the greatest aimers in the world. Same goes with Wikadia who uses this peak in FPL, throws a Molotov, then peaks outside a main with it. Now if you want to safely peek towards water at the start of the round, we see Flamesy throws his self-pop flash off the wall and then he is going to fall back. And then a very strong flash that you can have your teammate throw is this one here and this is going to allow you to safely peek out a main like this. So unless you're in a team environment and competitive one, you're not going to fully push out a main most of the time because there's so many positions that you need to deal with as we see G2 do here with the utility. Now you don't always want to throw your utility early on towards a main and you can hold on to them and one strong play that allows you to hold on to your utility and to delay that is by jiggle peeking. So here we see Nexa jiggle peeking towards the end of a main here. You're going to be doing a lot of jiggle peeking as the A player. And by doing this, like I said, you get a lot of information and you delay your usage of utility. So we see next to Molotov the entrance and then he is going to smoke it off as well. This jiggle peek being so close towards A main will give you the most information. However, there is one counter to this and the T's can sneak by up close towards the left wall without being spotted. Krimbo is able to go unnoticed inside A main because he hugs left towards the wall, then he swings, but unfortunately he does not capitalize on the spray onto fame. So this is perfect for your main opper to post up on towards A main and sometimes have them play in this position in case of a contact like that. Here is a nice position towards Fountain by Magis who plays very safe. You can see he's holding a very tight angle. He has the smoke pulled with the pin. And if he makes contact or an execute is coming in, he is going to throw the smoke and then he's going to play behind the smoke. However, he does get Molotov out and falls back to site here. Nothing really happens with these clips when you see that I am cutting them short. That means the other team went B. When you are playing Fountain and you're hiding behind this wall, you're going to ask for a flash for your teammates to peek. You're actively not going to be peeking a main. This is a very strong position and setup if you are able to get your teammate to flash for you. I know I said to not actively peek a main from Fountain, but if you're in this position in this back corner crouch with an AUG, it's super strong. Krimbo shows us another way where you could peek a main. This one is farther back. When you see the T's, then you would throw your Molotov and or smoke. Or if an execute is coming in where a lot of nades are flying through, then you would throw the nade set. The cool thing about this position is that it does allow Krimbo to smoke off a main. This is a very safe way to do so rather than having to peek a main in order to smoke it off. One thing to note when you are playing this position and jiggle peeking is that when your teammates start giving up mid control, you need to go ahead and move because the T's can spot you from mid. That's what happens here. You see Nexa having to throw his utility towards A main because Nico and the other player had to give up mid. So they go into this setup here where Nexa is sight and then Nico is close towards the wall. So like I said, if you don't have mid and you're playing this angle or you're jiggle peeking from this position, you are going to be able to get spotted by the T's. A very super passive jiggle peek is the one from heaven. It's very safe to do so. And we see Krimbo actually switch it up with this broken wall jiggle peek. And with the time being so late, he's going to smoke off a main, plays towards Fountain and punishes VP for going through the smoke and gets two frags. So you can see the power of the jiggle peek to hold your utility, especially against slower teams to punish them later. Now let's move on to actually playing inside sight. It can be a potential strong angle, especially in your face of pugs and premier matchmaking. This position is usually not Molotov out. I don't have any clips here, but if you do have a smoke, you could go ahead and deploy the smoke, whether that be towards your left or right side and play behind the smoke inside sight as well. Even from sight, you could jiggle peek, which we see Flamesy do here. 
and he did a good job holding onto his utility. He still has Molotov and Smoke, and then he is going to delay the T's Navi here. As you see, it's late into round, so he Molotovs and smokes it off. You are going to be dealing a lot with the T's throwing the A main control nade set, which involves smoking off A main as well as Molotoving that cubby. How pro teams on the CT side try to counter this is one way is Molotoving the entrance off and then getting flashed through that A main smoke. Team Falcons with a counter play here for Vitality's counter by flashing after hearing that nade set. This play is super strong if the T's only throw the utility and they don't contest it afterwards. So we see Vitality do the same set play here, Molotov the entrance, flash through, and you see Flame Z does not spot anybody, smokes off the A main entrance and he got a lot of information and map control there. Here's FaZe Clan running the exact same setup with the T's having to throw their nade set in and they had A main control and you see Rops almost gets two. Earlier I showed Krimbo throwing this A main smoke here he throws it in a different round after Versus Pro's A main nade set here and you're going to see that Krimbo actually comes up and clears that cubby and he gets a lot of information. Then he goes back to jiggle peeking. Now if you don't want to retake A main control or contest A main what you'll see is that pros will often smoke after the T's main smoke is up. The CTs will continue to use their utility to delay the A hit. Now if you want to be sneaky with it, you and your teammate can just go ahead and contact in. So we see the G2 players having two CTs push up into A main after the T's smoke is ending. That A main nade set from the T's will prevent the CTs from typically playing up close like this inside the cubby. But if you're able to do so and the T's don't throw it, you get so much information and map control as we see Rops do here. When Anubis first came out, one of the most common pro CT setups was having your rifler in that cubby and then your opera holding this angle here where the opera will make contact first because the opera can see further as the rifler is playing anti-flash, but that Molotov is going to flush that out. Matches plays a more passive approach after he Molotovs and nades the A main entrance. He actually falls back towards the heaven and broken wall side. Vitaly throw nades so he counters with his smoke and spams the smoke and gets two frags with that. Now if you know the other team is on eco and you have a rifle then the strongest position to hold A main is from heaven because of the long distance between the M4 and the pistols. Let me walk you through a full round from Bits POV. We're going to see that he starts off towards A main, he has a smoke out and he plays towards the entrance here. He's actually going to Molotov and flash over to get a quick peek, which is done safely with the cover of the nades there. Then he's going to back up towards this jiggle peak area where he does throw the smoke way too early as you can see the T's throw their own smoke. You would like to see him hold that smoke a little bit longer there and then he could have smoked after that smoke came up from the T's. So he actually ran out of nades here, so he's going to play more passive approach, especially when he has nobody nearby. He's going to play broken wall here, as well as towards the heaven side. And the T's are executing, Bit is going to get a quick peek before falling back, and they're going to go into retake, which then he just waits for his teammates since it is a 4v2. If you are stuck on an island, guys, by yourself, that is the strongest passive positions that you could play. In the pro scene, it's very common for the A anchor player to actually come towards camera to help out towards mid. You see Team Vitality dedicate three players to retake map control here of mid and then Flame Z is going to back up towards heaven. The most common A set that you need to know as the A player is this A main Molotov at the start and then you're going to jump on this wall and then you're going to nade T stairs. This nade does massive damage onto the two T's here that were holding canals and they do 50 HP to each player. Sometimes you have your main opera come over and hold from fountain holding a main. If that's the case, then you could either support with your opera by playing some type of CT setup towards a main, or you could be watching and helping out towards mid from camera. This is a really good position for the opera because if the T's do decide to just try to contact in without throwing any utility, they're definitely going to get punished. Make sure to give this video a like guys. If the video reaches 2000 likes, I'll be covering how to play B as well as mid on Anubis CT side and I'll see you guys in the next one.